uh, as, as they all do this time of year. And uh, yes, Knights did not have to learn a whole team maybe that you played a month ago. Middle Tennessee controls it. Good Middle Tennessee crowd yeah. showed up for this ball game here tonight. Justin Buford with it on the wing. You got two of the better bigs in this conference going at it. Jared Coleman Jones, Daniel <laughs> Bacho, and you see already. Shots at the rim yes. are not going to be easy to come by here tonight. These are the top two teams in the conference in terms of block shots. Yeah, we're going to watch the battle between Bacho and Coleman Jones, but yeah, you think you see daylight, you got to watch out this for Bacho. Crawford trying to back his way in, banging with Buford, goes up with the right hand, left it short. The rebound for Coleman Jones. Justin Porter with the basketball, one of the best scorers in this conference. In fact, during conference play, scored the third most of any player in the league. Coleman Jones with it, Bacho guarding it. Baseline move, strong take, and he stepped on the end line. Those two, the battle between them will be key, also will be key how it's officiated right. between those two. Yeah, each team really has a great post presence. Bacho for Louisiana Tech and Coleman Jones, and th those guys got to stay out of foul trouble. Their teams need them in the paint. Lake Chavez drives oh. hard to the rim. Good convert, little contact, no yeah, whistle. No we had the other way. Hey, it's conference tournament time. No ticky tack, nickel divers. Porter turns it back, gets it to Elias King. King has had a lot of success against Louisiana Tech during his career. And Buford going to launch off the mark. Buford just a 21% three point shooter on the season. Hands off to Talik Chavez, one of the more dangerous shooters from deep in this league. Now they go into Bacho. Hands off to Chavez, and got in there. The foul's going to be called. They're going to get Elias King with the reach. And Chavez will get himself to the line. Yeah, again, you know, Crawford and Bacho get so much attention yeah. in PR, but you can't forget about Chavez. I mean, he is a great player, quick as lightning, slasher type player. 78 three-pointers this season. Gives him almost 14 a game. And in the two meetings with Middle Tennessee this year, he scored 15 points in the first, 19 points in the second. So a major factor in the previous matchup. Louisiana Tech won six of their last seven. The lone loss. That home loss to Sam Houston, which allowed the Bearcats to lock up the one seed in the regular season title. Buford with the basketball. Trying to back down Crawford. Now gets it out. They'll pull Coleman Jones out away from the hoop quite a bit in this offense. Yeah, they'll use him for you know ball screens and he'll dive to the paint. Quarter three on the shot clock, pulls up, a little strong. Ball deflected, Crawford comes away with it. Gets it in the hands of his point guard, Newman. Newman, one of the great facilitators in Conference USA. Kicks out, Crawford goes into Bacho. Bacho's got the mismatch in. Oh, boy, did he ever finish. Rose up in the two-hand flush. Yeah, King kind of took a stab at the ball, and Bacho saw the space, turned, and flushed it. on his back, but Bacho's waiting on him. Another block. Chavez trying to feed the big man. Kicks it out. Newman on the way. Cross-court pass. They go right back into the big fella. Yeah, they really use Bacho well. They'll give him touches, play off of that, cut off of him. And he does a real good job. Makes good decisions with the ball. Doesn't force them. A shot clock situation. Angum forced to hoist. That one rattles out. Nice defensive possession there by the Blue Raiders. Did Magnum take a leading fadeaway 17-footer? Three and a half minutes in. Middle Tennessee still looking for their first point. Bacho on the run finishes at the rim. Big fella getting out yeah. and going. Great presence of mind. Newman knew he was trailing. 
delayed the, pe the pass a little bit and just laid it off for the big guys. Nice soft finish. Macho averaged 17 and a half points, 10 boards in the two meetings with Middle Tennessee. Bowman Jones gets it on the block. Trying to work around Crawford and Bacho somehow got that one up and in. Strong move by Coleman Jones. Coleman Jones, third team all conference USA. Average just over 11 points a game, seven and a half rebounds, a couple of assists as well. Another guy that really kind of gained confidence, and you saw his productivity go up throughout the season. D3 off the mark, Middle Tennessee couldn't find the basketball. Fortunately, Coleman Jones finally corralled it. Show the ball and his skills, yeah, bringing the ball up, getting him into offense. But yeah, no, he's comfortable out there, out on the perimeter. Buford gives it to him. And he's a threat right from there, 15, 17. Buford thought about the step back three, gives it to King, they go right back to the big man. Coleman Jones trying to power his way in the paint, loses the basketball. And Louisiana Tech comes yeah, away with it. That was Crawford sagged into help and deflected it, got his paw in there to poke it away. Chavez, step back three, that's pure. And that's what he can do. One of the best three-point shooters in the league. Tough shot. That's what I'm talking about. You, you get so much focused on. We got to defend Crawford. Got to make sure the paint is covered with Bacho. And Chavez can just take it off the dribble. Big time three. Porter, hesitation. Now looking for help. Gets it out to Buford. Louisiana Tech with some stifling defense early. That three goes down, and that's the guy who has had success against the Bulldogs this season. Elias King knocking it down in Middle Tennessee. So 8-5, La Tech leading. A whistle, and I don't think the shot clock started rolling. So you have to Porter rolling and King rolling. They're going to need to get them going tonight. Shot clock situation is remedied. Movement. Gets the elbow, looking for help. Kicks it out. A little contact, no whistle. They are letting them play here early on. It has been physical. And that one going to be tied up. Possession arrow keeps it with Louisiana Tech. Listen, you say at this time of year, Naz, a big part of the game that it really kind of goes under the radar is how will it be officiated come tournament time? Yeah, so you think about things like teams that like to pressure and kind of press and get up into you, you know, are, are they gonna are they gonna call some of that stuff? And then the other thing is like with just mentioned with Louisiana Tech, nice ball cut right there and finished by uh, by Crawford. But a team that really likes to get to the free throw line. Yeah. You know, you get you get some quick whistles and man that can really impact a game. Coleman Jones from beyond three, hands off to Justin Porter. Gets to the free throw line and kicks it back out. They're trying to look inside of Coleman Jones. He's battling down there. Give it to him out on the wing now. He'll launch to three oh, and a yeah. foul. He's fouled on the three-point attempt as Devin Reed. Coleman Jones to the free throw line. He's a 77% shooter. First one rattles out. Coleman Jones. He doesn't shoot a ton of threes, but he yeah. is efficient from out there. It's, he shoots it from 46%. Yeah, he's enough of a threat that you got to go yeah. out there and honor yeah. it. You cannot just lay back in the paint. See, and you can see, he, he's a, for a big guy, he's got a really nice touch. Great rotation on the basketball, high finish. I just want to say one thing, going back to the officiating. This is our third game, and... and I like the way it's been officiated. Yeah. They've, if they've been physical games, but they've been clean games. The refs have let them play at the right level. I think it's really been, been what you want to see in a conference tournament, the way the guys in stripes have done it so far. You play all year long. You work to get to this point. You want to let them decide it on the court. Yeah, I'm with you. Good physical play thus far. Newman gets to the free throw line, kicks it out. Chavez going to put it on the deck, cut off. Back it out, try again. Gets in the paint, leaves it off. Shot too strong off the glass. The follow is there. Will Allen with two. So Louisiana Tech crashed in the glass and it pays off. Yeah, good defense, but you're not done until you clean the glass. 
Kick out, three ball on the way, that's pure. Trey Green knocks down the triple. That tangled up, so I'll have to take a moment to fix that, but and that's huge because, you know, again, we talk about guys like Justin Porter and Elias King, but they cannot do it all. You need some support staff, <laughs> and right there, big-time shot. Well, and Trey Green's been a guy that's been coming on. He's averaging just under 10 points per game over his last four. Four points per game on the season. Right. But he's played well of late, and has a little confidence after seeing that one go down. Yeah, his play and then a few others that have really led to this Middle Tennessee team playing their best basketball here at the end of the season. God, that's good pump fake. Got his man in the air, able to lay it in. He's got six points to lead the way for the Bulldogs. Yeah, so quick with the basketball, and then he gets in here and he's pump faking and using his pivot foot, kind of, man, you just get the defender off balance. Bowman Jones working on Bacho, who just checked back into the ball game. Kick out, another three, opportunity on the way, that's off the mark. Yeah, they don't get the basket there, but Coleman Jones felt the double, nice outlet pass to skip past the other side of the floor for a good look. They got to keep doing that. Chavez again, pump fake, freed himself, kicks out, three ball comes in and rattles through for Sean Newman. Man, and you see the, the creation of that shot opportunity was all Chavez. Pump fake, drive it into the paint, had to suck the defense in and left it right in the shooting pocket for Newman. Newman's a guy that that shot off the mark and a whistle. Newman's a guy that Nick McDevitt, Middle Tennessee head coach, talked about. Not only what you want to do, uh, you know, with your philosophy, but fits with, with other players. And, and you know, you got to make sure guys get along and, and, and have the right attitude. And, and they got, you know, the pieces he's put together here. You can see why this is one of the top teams in Conference USA. Yeah, and establish a culture with yes. all those pieces as well. That's right. Boy, guys that will like, come in and buy yeah. in. He's got this program really headed in the right direction. They had their sights set on a championship here this season. Certainly could do it. Bacho gives it up to Crawford. In traffic, no. Ball pops out. Louisiana Tech comes away with it. Another opportunity. Pull-up jumper is pure. And Chavez yeah. has come out feeling it tonight. Sure has. And he gets an extra gold star for hitting a mid-range jumper. <laughs> a lost art. That's right. He will pass those up, and man, he took one dribble, he got himself to 15 feet. I love it. Nice King on the wing. Seven point lead is at three ball with a hand in his face. Off the mark. And Louisiana Tech comes away with the basketball. Yeah, they've done a real good job on the glass, limiting middle Tennessee to one and done. Buford knocked that one away, so a turnover gives it back to the Blue Raiders. I'd like to see him run something for King. You know, he, he hit that three and as it now kicks out, Buford will rise up from three. That's off the mark. Buford never afraid to shoot it, <laughs> but the percentage from three right. not great this year. Yeah, certainly. I, I, I'd like him to be a little more selective, I think, with with this shot. Maybe he can create something for King or, or Porter. Macho, well short on that one. I think Middle yeah. Tennessee would love to have him settle. For little fadeaway jumpers. That's right. Good contest by Coleman Jones. Chavez really snuck in there and came away with that. Coleman Jones gonna shoot oh. the three. That goes down. <laughs> the official saying we're gonna take a look at that one next yeah, dead I, ball. I think he was on the line, but uh, e either way, that's a real confident shot by the big fella. Look good. We said it a few minutes ago. He has that range. You gotta get out there and honor it. So for now, it's a three point. Gordon Crawford taking it strong to the rim. Yeah. Sophomore guard, hometown kid out of Ruston, Louisiana. Yeah, and that's why one of the keys for Middle Tennessee was protect the paint. And it's easier said than done, but you've got to just guard the dribble, put a body on, just don't let it get so deep. Gordon hangs, this, Buford crafts the glass, couldn't grab it as Crawford did a good job of boxing him out. Chavez has it, puts it on the deck with the left hand. Pulls up from three. Too strong, and Coleman Jones will grab the board. Who's the big fella pushing it in? I'm telling you, he's an athlete. Yes, he's got skills. That three well off the yeah, mark. Just...
big guys always always look at their feet and, and Coleman Jones has good feet and he's not heavy footed he moves quick good footwork around the around the paint we tried to lob that one in it was deflected up and in <laughs> I think it was Coleman Jones that actually got the hand on it, popped it up in the air, and it went through. Yeah, Bacho had him sealed, but Coleman Jones was really leaning on him, and sometimes these things just go your way. That must be clean living. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Bacho gets credit for the bucket. King gives it in to Coleman Jones. Eight-point ball game. Coleman Jones pulls up. The jumper rims off. And it'll go out of bounds, back to Louisiana Tech. Take a look at that just a moment ago. Bacho has the seal. Bacho yeah. and Coleman Jones each got a hand yeah, on it. finger on it, so. Bacho, he, he earned it. He earned it. Yeah, we'll give him credit for it. He earned it. See the frustration from Coleman Jones. Yeah, he's got a couple good looks. I mean, he's hit a couple, but him catching it on the baseline at 12 feet. For a jumper, I, I don't, I don't dislike that. Crawford picks it out. Chavez got poked in the eye, and the official going to give him a timeout. Is inadvertent put together. Well, Chris Loof had a jersey issue, so he swapped out, and now he's ready to go. Got a uniform malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. Uh, hopefully, we don't have any of those. We want no part of that. Crawford. Drives, kicks, corner three. Can't leave him open. Chavez in and out. Boy, good look. In, yeah. mid in Middle Tennessee, dodged a bullet. Sure did. That pass along the baseline, and Chavez was just uncontested. <laughs> Middle Tennessee can get Justin Porter going. Yeah. Slow start for the explosive guard. Or, uh, or King, they just, they kind of need their bread and butter to just kind of produce for them. It's been just kind of a lull. Not gonna get it done. Freshman Chris Luth lost the handle. Yeah, and again, we mentioned that at the, at the open. Turnovers have kind of been kind of risen up and bitten them a few times throughout this season. They really got to, every possession tonight, especially. I mean, it may be your last chance, so you've got to take care of the ball. Crawford. That shoulder into the defender created a little space, couldn't knock it down. Middle Tennessee just 4 of 15 from the field, 26%. Nothing's easy. No, I was going to say, no easy looks tonight. Defense of, of Louisiana Tech makes you work to get a good look. Order handed it off. Lou fouled as he went up with the shot. So he'll get to the free throw line. And that's been one place where Middle Tennessee has had some success. Four or five from the strike so far tonight. There are stretches against this Louisiana Tech defense where you wonder, how does anybody score? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, certainly yeah. inside the three-point line, how do you find yeah, you know, we, a, a clear path? We saw that watching them practice the other day, how much they just guard the dribble. I mean, you take a dribble or two towards that paint, and a guy is coming over to help, maybe to trap. Uh, there's a guy waiting for you in a help position. They just put a premium on denying that basketball in there. So, again, there, there's nothing easy. Gonna have to work, and, and maybe the best you're going to get is a is a look from long range. That's a point of emphasis for Talon and Hester. He said we spent a lot of time on the defensive end. Yep. So a couple of free throws. It's a six-point ball game in some ways, with as difficult as it's been right. offensively for Middle Tennessee. It could be a lot worse. Crawford tries to turn the corner, cut off by Buford. I'm gonna back it out, eight on the shot clock. Gets the switch, a little hesitation. Fading away at the elbow, off the mark, and offensive oh. rebound for Bacho. Now he turns around oh my. and hammers! Oh, goodness! <laughs> my goodness, and, and, and Middle had played such a great defensive possession, caused a, Crawford to take a leaner, but they just could not come up with the rebound, and Bacho makes a pay big time. He about brought the basket down. Now a fight for the loose ball. Who comes away with it? It's Crawford. He rips it out of there. And now a foul called as Buford continued to hound him up the court. Take another look. You get the offensive board. No hesitation. Strong to the rack. 
And he went at that rim with ill intent. <laughs> the freshman Loof wow. trying to deny him. That, there's not many people that are going to be able to deny Daniel Bacho. And he has a full head of steam. 6'11 out of Paris, France. Got it started his career at Arizona, then went to Texas Tech. And that one's thrown into the Middle Tennessee bench. Yeah, and another guy that not only is big, but he's skilled. Yeah. I mean, again, he moves well. Uh, you know, certainly has the size and strength. We see them seal down in there, but but can step out and knows kind of how to help run this offense. Setting ball screens and, and, and handoffs and things like that. Smart player. Bowman Jones working against Bacho right now. He, boy, he had the yeah, angle. No, he got really. there with the left hand, just couldn't finish it. It's been that kind of night for Middle Tennessee, even when you think you have a good look. Haven't quite been able to finish the play. Ball loose. And did we get a timeout? Oh, yeah. oh, so. You got Elias King out there, who, again, another just dangerous guy. You just need him to get going. Handling the basketball. There's a lot of grabbing, a lot of <laughs> yeah. bumping going on. Crawford gets the elbow, rises up, left it short. That rebound pulled down by Middle Tennessee. Hey, Crawford off to a slow start as well. Just one of six from the field. Some of the guys, the guys we highlighted coming in. Not, not, I'm not putting that on you. Okay, yeah. Right? The back players them. are off to a slow start. King on the wing. Back his way down, gets to the baseline, and an offensive foul. They got Coleman Jones that time, little moving screen. Self-inflicted wounds. Uh, it's just, you're already up against, you know, the, one of the top teams in the conference. You've got to give yourself a chance. Little things like that just, just kill you because it just takes away a possession. And he had the ball in King's hands. Crawford, Ian Buford been going at it all night. Pump fake, kicks out. Newman will drive it, pulls up from the elbow. That's too strong. Everybody fighting for that board. Buford comes away with it. Jordan now on the wing. Will launch the three and hit. Wow. Boy, I wasn't so sure about that shot. That was a no, 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 yes. Exactly. It goes. You know, get, get into halftime, keep this thing close. And again, they've done all this without... Porter yeah. production without King. Well, in the first two meetings between these two this year, Louisiana Tech held Middle Tennessee under 40% shooting from the field. Right now, they're holding them to about 28% yeah. from the field. Lockdown defense. Chavez, aggressive oh, move. Goodness. Lays it in. What a night he's having. Ten first half points. He gets going downhill and look out. He's saying, I'm more than just a shooter now. <laughs> right. I'm not just some... Um, Float around the right. three-point line, guy. I am multi-dimensional. Deep three <laughs> off the mark. Buford with the offensive board, and he draws the foul. Nice job by Buford to stick his nose in there. But, yeah, man, he turns that corner, took some contact by Coleman Jones, and tough finish. So again, kind of the unsung hero. Yeah, right. Uh, and we've been impressed with him all season. Um, not that he hasn't been great, yeah. it's just his teammates have <laughs> drawn a lot of attention for good reason. They draw up and good, and this is where Middle Tennessee, this what has allowed them yeah. to stay in this ball game. Now eight free throws, they've made seven of them. Meanwhile, Louisiana Tech, we talked about how good they've been at getting to the line. Right. They've only been there for twice, they made one or two. Yeah, so that you got to credit the defense of Middle Tennessee, they've played tough without fouling and sending him to the stripe. Buford gets him both. Yeah. Yeah, Buford. Man, you don't care how it is, you just got to manufacture some points. Be playing tough defense. Get the Crawford halftime. He really lost his footing, he really lost the basketball. Fortunate to keep it. It's off to Chavez. Working on Justin Porter. Good backdoor cut. The lay-in oh, is good. Great feed and Tyler Henry off the window for two. Great cut, great feed. 
Coleman Jones just didn't see it coming in time. Nice pick and roll right there. Oh, oh Coleman Jones yeah. lost that ball going up. Yeah, he's calling for a foul. He said I got hit. That's why I lost it. But somehow it found its way off the glass and in. I think that balance is out the one that Bacho he kind of tipped in for Bacho. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're wrong. He's big guy. All even one. now. Jordan Crawford, a lot of dribbling, gets to the free throw line, rises up with the left hand, off the mark. Middle Tennessee the other way, down five. Jordan being pressured. Coleman Jones, three ball. Good connect. Louisiana Tech going to slow it down a little bit, just over two minutes to go here in the first half. It has felt like a game that Louisiana Tech has dominated. But you look up at the score, and yeah. it's only a five-point ball game. Crawford fades away. Boy, he has struggled shooting it tonight. The offensive rebound, no. Buford comes away with it. Now nearly picked off, and it will stay with Middle Tennessee. Isaiah Crawford now in the night, just one of seven from the field. Your middle Tennessee boy, you don't get right. many nights like that. Yeah. You better find a way to take advantage of three ball in rhythm, and it goes. Jalen Jordan with the triple, he's got eight points, and we've got a two point ball game. The folks gutsy. wearing middle Tennessee blue rise to their feet. Yeah, gutsy performance right now in this first half. They have really just dug in, found ways to just keep it close. Bacho catches it. Hands off. Chavez has had the hot hand. Pump fake now gets rid of it. Six on the shot clock. Jordan Crawford kicks out. Isaiah, NBA range three. Oh, that goes down. How about that answer from the player of the year? Man, he got his feet set. Had a couple extra seconds to get his range before the pass arrived. They needed that one. Middle Tennessee have a response. Jalen Jordan. Yeah, he's got the hot hand. Now looking for help. Gets it to King. A on the shot clock. Elias King between the legs. Drives into traffic. Just throws up a wild out of control shot. And it goes out of bounds back to Louisiana Tech. Check out the range here. Isaiah Crawford from way downtown. Five-point advantage for the Bulldogs. Chavez, quick triple. That rattles out. Fight for the board off of Bacho's shoulder. Isaiah Crawford gets it. No whistle. Man, <laughs> there has been a lot of contact. Yeah. And they just let him play through it. A little too much. A two and a half seconds difference between shot and game clock. Isaiah Crawford sizing up the defense. That one through the legs of Jordan Crawford. Just took his eye off it. And the turnover gives it back to Middle Tennessee with 6.8 remaining in the half. Yeah, I think I think it kind of surprised Jordan Crawford. I think he thought Isaiah Crawford was going to pull the string on that one. Got to go, got to go. Destin Porter with the basketball gets a massive screen. Gives it up. Jordan, three ball off the mark, and that will get us to the half. It was a physical bit of a struggle. Yeah, a little bit of a struggle again, because that's easier said than done when you've got guys like Chavez and, and, and Newman with the ball. So that could be a, a clean up a little bit, but they've done a great job. Uh, MTSU has with limiting turnovers. Louisiana Tech getting themselves in the strike. They've not done that. So credit MTSU for playing good D and not sending them to, for easy free throws. Middle Tennessee got a clean look for Elias King there from three. He rattles out. Hey, Crawford, aggressive here on the first offensive possession. Gets cut off by Buford. Yeah, Buford's done a good job on him sure tonight. Has. Newman on the wing now, using that screen from Bacho. Gets two feet in the paint, left it short. Got his own miss, kicks out. Mangum will hoist the triple. That's too strong. And Crawford there for another offensive board. Threw that one at the feet of Mangum, and they end up turning it over. Had a couple of decent looks. King now thrives, baseline, puts it up, and it gets the friendly roll. Yeah, I see, I like that. I, I like that he was just caught the ball, and he was going to the rim with it, no questions asked. Gets the, gets the friendly bounce. 
see if that'll get Elias King going. Gets us down to a one possession ball game. Crawford. A quiet night offensively for him. Hands off to Chavez. The opposite for this dude. <laughs> Full head of steam off the window. No, Bacho couldn't convert, but a foul called on the follow. And I think they're going to get Coleman Jones on the whistle. And that was one of the things we talked about with Nick McDevitt. And it is the second foul on Coleman Jones is he's got to play well He's also got to play clean because yeah. if he gets in any kind of foul trouble Not only does it change defending Bacho, right. but we've seen how much of the offense runs through Jared Coleman Jones Yeah, we've seen him score but they like kind of coming down and just getting him a touch in the paint On the block and then just let either letting him work out of that or other guys kind of spacing out and, and getting to shooting spots and letting him pass out of it. So, yeah, they, they, their whole kind of dynamic changes if uh, Coleman Jones gets in foul trouble. Acho hits one and two. Offensive rebound. Isaiah Crawford gets it's him. A kicks killer. it out. Especially from the second spot on a free throw. That, that's inexcusable. And the pull up jumper goes down. So, yeah, Nick McDevitt frustrated on the sideline. He can't give up those extra looks. And it hurts. With the jumper from Newman. Owen Jones drives and kicks. Justin Porter, quick three. Let's see if that gets him going. Yeah, a real nice shot. But again, the big fella creating that catches out beyond three, puts the ball on the floor, draws some defense, and kicks out. He's Crawford. Really oh, the spin in the lane, left it short. Follow no, and oh Buford comes away with it. Man, Isaiah Crawford can just not, he just can't buy one. Buford all the way to the 10. He lays it in for two. We just talked about that. Push in transition when you have the opportunity. Great decision by Buford. Coast to coast. Down to a one-point ball game. Crawford again. Boy, he is yeah, he, he's arms really tangled up. Buford gives him a shove. Finally, we're pushing the limits to see what it takes to get a whistle in this ball game. That is apparently it. The two-handed shove. Well, yeah, here's Buford. Little stutter step, kind of freezes Chavez there. Nice finish. But you're seeing Isaiah Crawford trying to get himself going right. too. Last couple times he is really looking, kind of hunting his shot. Chavez underneath the hoop, had that one partially oh. blocked. Bacho gets it, pump fakes, and then lays it in on the other side of the rim. 11 points now for Bacho to go along with six rebounds. So active in the paint. When that shot goes up, he finds a lane. Nice king. Drives, pull up jumper, rims off, Bacho there for the board. Three-point ball game. Crawford had thoughts about launching the three, now gives it up. Newman tries to turn the corner, has it almost knocked away. I'm looking for help, 12 on the shot clock. Chavez working on Jacob Johnson. Lost it going up, and he'll get himself to the free throw line. Chavez is just so crafty yeah. in his use of the pump thing. Yeah, and just kind of, and I mean this positive, he's very herky-jerky. Like, yeah, I right. Mean, he'll, he'll hesitate and kind of throw his shoulders back, and then I mean, you're, you're kind of working as a defender so quick to kind of re, you know recover and, and backpedal, and he just gets you leaning and back on your heels and right there draws the foul. Knocks down the first free throw. And you can't do all that stuff unless you have that ball on a string, man. He has, just has great handles, great command in that basketball at all times. He gets just one of two. Louisiana Tech now is three of six of the free throw line tonight. Roman Jones, tailing the basketball, hands off to Justin Porter. Well, Jones is rolling to the hoop, there just wasn't a lane to get it to him. If Bacho was in the way just enough to kind of oh nice move that move by Johnson Jacob Johnson's first two points of the night The junior out of Minneapolis, Minnesota A little dribble hesitation and the defenders kind of relaxed Newman, oh, they got trying to drop it off two on one at Middle Tennessee hurries Porter keeps it lays it in for two good decision Picked the ball up defender went flying by Nice finish by Justin Porter. That's a couple transition opportunities. 
factor to try to get out and run when they have the chance. Yeah, and, and really, he was talking more about defense. They would yeah, really yeah. try to press and, and things like that. So they can't do that anymore. But offensively, they still can run. They got the guys that can get out in transition. And they've already hit, hit a few of those this half. Apacho gets that deep oh, post position and then strong enough to finish through about three defenders. Yeah, somebody who's got a piece of that ball and still muscled it up through him, but... When in doubt, throw it into number 13, <laughs> right? Holman Jones gonna shoot another three, and he gets fouled. Bacho runs into him and commits the foul. And once the calendar flipped, they were the second best free throw shooting team in the conference. And they've done a real good job keeping Louisiana Tech off the line tonight, which yeah. is a huge part of their game. Again, we mentioned Louisiana Tech shooting the most attempts in Conference USA this season. Yeah, there's six attempts on the night. First two go down for Coleman Jones. He has 11 points to lead the way for Middle Tennessee. Go along with four rebounds and four assists. Puts the Blue Raiders in front. Really skilled big man. We, we kind of we kind of sung his praises as well as Bacho, man. Two real, real great multifaceted big men in this conference. Well, he looked to go inside to Bacho, and it was deflected off the hands of Coleman Jones. That was going to be a tough catch. As he was thrown a little bit behind the Louisiana Tech big man. Bulldogs fortunate to keep possession. That was one thing Nick McDevitt said. He said, Bacho's a contested catch guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not every big man is like him. You just throw it up in the vicinity. He's like a good tight end. Yeah, he'll catch it in traffic. And... Chavez taking a bump as he got into the lane. So, he's able to create for himself and get to the free throw line. Yeah, I mean, he just forces. Like, he's dribbling. He's leaning. He's spinning. I mean, if you don't, if you're not there in perfect position, he's going to create some contact, and he's gotten, he's been on the, the favorable end of a few calls tonight. Boy, but free throws again have been a problem. Not just getting to the line, but then making them once they do. Three of seven now for Louisiana Tech. Yeah, I, I didn't like his form there. He just kind of rushed it, and yeah, he's, he's kind of. Look a lot start to finish. 12 points for Chavez. We are tied up once again. 15 20 to go, knotted at 41 apiece. Justin Porter tries to turn the corner, does. Oh. Blocked on the way up. Great block. Gravon Mangum went up and got a piece of it. Well, you think uh, Crawford's not there, Bacho's not there? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Well, there's another dude. And Porter was laying it high off the glass and never made it to him. Mangum just came over. Erased it. Bacho missed. Crawford had it deflect off with his hand, so it'll go back to the Blue Raiders. Remember, Middle Tennessee opened the season as co-favorite in yeah. Conference USA. And then again, went right to the bottom. Yeah, lies changed since then. Coleman Jones foul on the way up. Are they going to get Bacho? Yes, they are. Yeah. So, and again, I, I don't think you give enough credit, Coach McDevitt. I mean, again, you picked high. There's so much expectations. You get those injuries. You drop to the bottom. And there's a lot of players that would have just packed it in. Oh, we, don't, we got nothing left. But, man, they stuck together, and he stayed positive with them. They kept, they kept working. And slowly they crept themselves up. And then you're, you're seeing, you're seeing a good team right here forget what they're seeding. <laughs> yeah, right. And you can say that a lot in Conference USA this whole season. I mean, the tiebreaker scenario, you saw everybody was right there in the middle of that pack. Jones, second free throw, knocks it down. He got 14 points. That was a second foul on Bacho, by the way. A little pressure shown by Little Tennessee. He'll back down. Maybe talking with uh, Louisiana Tech head coach Calvin Hester. He told us, and there's like four or five teams that can yeah. win this thing. Like, he, like, these guys realize they're going through the grind all season long. And this league is so balanced. Anybody can win on any given night. Bacho sticks it up and in. Yeah, Coleman Jones went over, got a got a block shot, but it took him to the other side of the paint, and 
Bacho got the rebound, uncontested putback. Coleman Jones again, top of the key, and call for steps. Yeah, he's got a little ahead of himself out there. Moving a little too quick, turnover, there haven't been many. Gives it back to Louisiana Tech. Now five turnovers for each side. You just kind of had a feeling this was going to be a good ball game, despite the fact that Louisiana Tech had won the two games in the regular season. It's so hard to beat a team three times, yes. even more so, I feel like, when you see him right away again. Took a shot off the mark, the rebound pulled by Trey Green. And again, it's a 2-7 game, but we knew and, and just know that Middle Tennessee is, is better. They're better than their record. They're better than their seed. And they're living up to that billing. Green, three oh. ball goes down. Trey Green with his second triple of the night. And he puts Middle Tennessee up by three. What a big time shot. Crawford lowers that shoulder. Trying to get himself into position. Spins, Buford contests it. Shot off the mark, fight for the rebound. Bacho has it, kicks it out to Chavez. Now he has it poked away. Ball still loose, picked up by Middle Tennessee. Settle down, they don't have to do something crazy. Porter had it poked away from behind, a late whistle now, and a foul going against Chavez. Boy, that was a late whistle coming from across the court. It looked like Louisiana Tech had just come away with the steal. Yeah, they didn't have numbers. It was a three a moment ago. Yeah, man, it contested too. Big time hit right there. So they got Chavez on the foul. Tennessee with the lead in the basketball. Justin Porter on the wing. Going to drive. Just take it. Body shot. Oh Doesn't matter. <laughs> Man, Just he muscled into, it up for two. He ran into two different guys. And kept, <laughs> kept the handle on the ball. Kept control. This is a man's game out there now. <laughs> Crawford steps back. Three ball. Too strong. Coleman Jones pulls the rebound. All the momentum on the side of Middle Tennessee right now. Porter gets it to his big man. Pull up, mid-range, and it rims off. A good look from Coleman Jones doesn't go. Now Louisiana Tech, where do they go? They need, need a bucket. bucket. Yeah, and, and, and I know Crawford wants to get himself going, but he just does not have it tonight. He tries again for three. There it and is. And that goes down. <laughs> he said, what? What did you say, Paul Nassik? <laughs> I heard you over there. A big triple for Isaiah Crawford. He has eight points on the night, but it's come on three of 12 shooting. Well, a guy of his caliber, Conference USA Player of the Year, that may be all it takes to finally get over the hump, get him back to kind of how he's used to playing. Buford, Coleman Jones check out. I would imagine with the under 12 timeout coming up, yeah. just to get them a, a quick breather. Justin Porter, a little stutter step, step back, launches the three, oh, bang! Oh. Justin Porter has come alive in the second half, all ten of his points after halftime. That's the Justin Porter we were highlighting at the top of the show. Crawford just lowers that shoulder oh. into traffic, it's blocked by Luth. The freshman coming over and delivers a big defensive play. Yeah, went straight up. 6'10", got his hands high. They're oh, looking no. for Porter, oh, no. they find him again. <laughs> that one off the mark. And Crawford pulls the board. Five point Middle Tennessee lead, under 12 to go. John Newman directing traffic, slowing things down. Yeah, things are getting a little wild and frantic there. Crawford on the wing, gonna put it on the deck now. Drives in the paint, gets the whistle, Ooh. and it was halfway down and out. But Crawford will get himself to the free throw line. So, let's see what they do. I mean, I know Isaiah Crawford continues to try to get himself going. Crawford now with nine points. But you don't want to do it at the expense of just your normal offense. Right. More free throw coming for the conference player of the year. Gets it to go. Crawford, only the third player in Conference USA history. We're talking about his offense, but 60 steals, 50 blocks. Three players in the league's history have ever done that. He's one of them. 
He's multi-talented. He's multi-dimensional. His personal story coming back from yeah. some devastating injuries makes it all the more impressive. Bacho got a piece of it. But their right place, right time is Luf. Yeah, and that's what you got to do as a big man. When your guy goes for a block, you got space. So you can look either for the rebound or look to pick up a loose ball. That time, Luf does exactly that. Nice finish. Chavez launching the deep three. Oh, that goes down. Malik Chavez has 15 points. And that was a big triple. Cut that middle Tennessee lead to just two. Luf hands it off. Trey Green has it. He's knocked down a couple of threes here tonight. Justin Porter's been the story in the second half. The crossover gets in the paint. Chavez comes over in a whistle. We'll get Porter to the line. I got to tell you, Naz, the way this game is being played, unless somebody ends up on their back, I don't expect yeah, a whistle to blow. A little bit surprised by that one, to be honest. That foul called on Jordan Crawford. You can, you can see the last few possessions. Justin Porter has a, a new spring in his step. Yeah. When he starts shaking and baking and that, he's doing that through the legs dribble. Man, he is really kind of feeling it right now. I mean, the guy scored 41 yeah. in a conference game <laughs> against Western Kentucky. Right? The most by any player in the league this year. That's right. 30 another night. Yeah. Multiple 20-plus point games. 24 in the first meeting with Louisiana Tech. He's got 12 tonight, all of them in the second half. I mean, you can just sort of look at him. He's got a different look about him now in the second half. Foul on the floor. They're going to get Buford with the bump. And that's going to be number three on Justin Buford. He's done a great job tonight making life difficult on Isaiah Crawford. Yeah, because Crawford is just going right at it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> inspecting his second half, I mean, he's just... Time and time again, possession after possession, Crawford going right at you for trying to score. Newman knifing down the lane, contested, and that was enough to affect the shot. Yeah, nice trail contest by Elias King. Porter gets it to Coleman Jones. Presentation there, top of the key, gives to Elias Key. He's been quiet here for a while. Now the feed to the big man down low. Surrounded, was patient, wow. and got the look off the window for two. Great, great pass, nice roll and catch, and then great poise and patience. Still had two guys just clamped on him, and he went right up the swing. Biggest lead of the night for Middle Tennessee, and they'll have a chance to add to it with just over nine minutes to play. Porter tries turning the corner, gets in the lane, hangs, throws it up, and draws the foul. Was that five out as well? I mean, it's it's a pro Middle Tennessee crowd yeah. here. They travel pretty well. Their women played earlier today. Any of those folks sticking around? Not, not a very far drive. What, a little over a couple hours, I think. Those folks are uh, making their voice heard. Porter knocks down both free throws. Yeah, I mean, everything just feels better when you're on, on, on top. When you've got the lead and you got a couple possessions of cushion. I mean, look, they've turned up their defense. Middle has. And... Chavez had that one swatted from behind. Elias King just snatched it away. Great read. You feel like yeah, it's a big <laughs> possession. Porter. Right into the chest of Crawford. Got his own miss. Fight for it on the deck. And Crawford comes away with it. Bacho running the floor. The big man ahead of the pack for two. 6-11. And he won the foot race down the floor. Good heads up. Saw his teammate was going to get it. Leaked out. Crawford, good heads up play. Looking ahead. Long two from King. That's off the mark. Crawford pulls the rebound. Newman looking for help, gets it off. The handoff now to Bacho with authority. Back to back buckets for Daniel Bacho. Middle Tennessee looks like they're starting to stretch it. They have all the momentum, and the big fella has silenced the Blue Raider faithful. Yeah, you go here tonight. Four point ball game. Middle Tennessee with the ride. 
Yeah, you're seeing it's going to take more than kind of your regular rotation. You're going to have to get some points from some bench guys, maybe some, some unsung heroes emerge every year in March. Right through uh, the hands of Coleman Jones. So a rare turnover. Gives it to Louisiana Tech, a chance to cut further into this Middle Tennessee lead. Chavez, so effective tonight. Tried feeding Bacho, and that one just a little in front. Bacho saying, hey, I was getting held. I couldn't go attack that ball because I was getting <laughs> held, but the officials don't want to hear it. Yeah, Bacho had the seal. Yeah, boy, <laughs> he may have a point. Kind of like those defensive backs do to the receivers. Just a little bit of hand on that jersey. Just a tug. Just a little tug. So, turnovers. Last couple of possessions. Order. Is it Coleman Jones? A drive in on Bacho. Too strong on the layup attempt. Quickly the other way. Mango. That was a tough shot. Hand right in his face, and it doesn't go. Yeah, Trey Green went straight up, avoided the foul call. And he had made Mango's shot near impossible. Oh. Porter all the way to the rim for two. A little miscommunication there and how they were going to cover the ball screen. Justin Porter, lightning quick. <laughs> He got that first step by the defender, and he was gone. A six-point Middle Tennessee lead. Mangum with the basketball. A quiet night for him offensively. Two feet in the paint, rises up, knocks it down. It's his first bucket of the ball game. He had 10 on Saturday to go along with eight rebounds against Middle Tennessee. Porter again turns the corner, a little hesitation, floater, rims off, deflected out, taken by Mangum on the run. Tries to leave it for Chavez. Poor decision. It's picked off by Porter. Yeah, Porter was hustling his tail back. He gets rewarded, picks off that pass. Porter has Bacho on it. It's to Buford now. Thought about it. Creates a little space. Now he'll launch. And he hits! How about it from Justin Buford? He thought about it yeah. two or three different times. Made it a little more, more difficult five. with the step back, and he still drills it. Big time shot by Buford. Five and a half to go. Middle Tennessee by seven. Crawford, when you need a bucket, Isaiah Crawford's there for it. He has 12 tonight. Yeah, took his time, backed his man down. This little spin move. Coleman Jones now top of the key. Bacho on him. They give it to Buford. Knocked one down a second ago. Gives it back to his big man. Ten on the shot clock. They get it back in the hand of Justin Porter. Justin Porter create. Justin pulls up. Too strong. The rebound to Bacho. His tenth rebound of the night to go along with 19 points. Both Bacho and Crawford yeah. double doubles on the night. Bacho has in the post. What a spin oh, move. Fuck in the foul. He faked the yeah, post. shovel pass fake. Spun back inside and finished through the contact. Holman Jones kind of went for the fake. And Bacho spun with every daylight in front of him. Look at this move by here. Buford. <laughs> Little jab step, step back. That was tough right there. Here's this move by Bacho. Yeah. Faked it right there to Newman. Took the contact and finished. That's the third foul on Coleman Jones. Bacho splashes home the free throw. Yeah, not only a nice move, but again, we're talking about he's a contact guy, strong. And they're going to get him a quick breather. He'll be back very soon, I would imagine, as he leaves with 22 points, 10 boards on the night. A 10 of 12 shooting pass. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Little pressure being shown now by Louisiana Tech. Buford inbound. Gets it into King. Being hounded by Mangum. 
just does get it across the timeline in time. <laughs> They're really letting them play. A lot of body contact. But they've been consistent with it. Porter is doubled for a moment. Now gets in the hand of Buford. They swing to Elias King. Johnson now trying to back down. Kicks out. Buford going to drive. Late shot clock situation. Lost it. Ball still lost. They throw it up. And it hit the shot clock. And a shot clock violation will give it back to the Bulldogs. So a huge defensive stop there. And Louisiana Tech gets the ball back, a chance to tie or take the lead. And as I say that, Daniel Bacho checks back into the ball game. He said, I'm ready. Yes. I have my rest. I'm ready to play. Every possession, really from this point on, yeah. you feel the importance. Crawford with the smaller porter on it. Drives into it. Look for the spin. He loves that spin turnaround. Muscles it up, no, and the rebound to Coleman Jones. Got stopped initially, maybe should have kicked that one out and reset, but good defense by the smaller Porter. Yeah, while he had his dribble, I thought he was going to kind of back Porter down a little more, but he picked it up, got himself in a jam. Coleman Jones, the crossover, drives into Bacho, pump fake, throw it up, no. Offensive rebound for Middle Tennessee. Surrounded, Buford had it knocked loose. Coleman Jones there to pick it up. Back to Buford, 10 on the shot clock. They'll get it to Porter and set up a play. Porter, hesitation, knifing his way to the rim for two. Great job using his body to shield off. He knew Bacho was behind him, trying to time that shot. Nick McDevitt motioning to the crowd, saying, get on your feet, we need you for this final three minutes. Three coming, Newman can't hit. Ball batted in the air, and Coleman Jones will pull it down. He's got 10 rebounds now to go along with his 16 points. Porter, again, kicking out this time. King, corner three, too strong. The ball... Right through the hands of Mangum, and now a foul on Porter as he got tangled up with Talik Chavez down. That foul down at the yeah, other no. end on Huge. Porter means one and one for Talik Chavez. And he missed it. Tapped out and chased down by Buford. He's now shoved in the back. And so that foul is going to be called on Will Allen. But yeah. as if this game ends up going the way of the Blue Raiders, yeah. the free throw line is going Will to be, be a major difference. reason why. Yes. Louisiana Tech, 7 of 12, 58%. Middle Tennessee, 17 of 18. They have cashed in. Yeah, and, and from now on, the next foul, Middle Tennessee will be shooting free throws. They got a timeout called by Buford as he was having a hard time. Look at each other and believe in themselves, and they're tough. They will not quit, and they find themselves right now up four. Trying to give it a little bit of Louisiana Tech pressure. Good job. This has to be careful. I mean, you want to be aggressive, but you don't want to foul because the middle's going to go to the free throw line. Oh. Picked off. Picked off by Newman, and now he's fouled. Newman, great. Newman, 77% free throw shooter on the season. Flashes home the first one. Richard, sophomore guard. Conference USA and assist this season has five of them tonight. Yeah, another guy that shoots is great in the point guard position. Just runs great offense. It's just one of two. And Louisiana Tech leaving some points out there from the free throw line. Three point ball game, just over two to play. Elias King, kind of quiet offensively this evening, gives it to Porter. They go inside to the big man. Coleman Jones kicks it out. King back to him. Gonna put it on the deck. Drive into Bacho and he's denied. Oh, Bacho came over and stuck it to the glass. Wow, I mean, Coleman Jones went right at him. Mano he mano and <laughs> Bacho just made a great Mano he Bacho. <laughs> How about that? Man. Middle keeps it just three seconds on the shot clock. Great pass. Blocked again. And a whistle gonna go against Louisiana Tech. Great cut right there by Jacob Johnson, right down the middle of the lane. 
not much time in that possession. Great heads up play, great find. Put a shot across the face, get himself to the free throw line. Foul on Isaiah Crawford, just his first. Johnson tonight, just two points. This is the first one on the year. He's a 75% free throw shooter. Now that Nick McDevitt said he's the ultimate team guy, does whatever the team needs. I need him to hit a free throw here off the mark. So an empty possession after all that for Middle Tennessee. Three point ball game. Newman gives it up. Chavez on the wing. He guarded by Porter. Little jab step now puts it on the deck and a whistle. You have to respect him pulling from three. Porter gets up into him. And then that quickness of Chavez, he ends up drawing the foul. Chavez goes to the line. Only three of seven at the free throw line for Talik Chavez here tonight. It's the first, 16 points now. A graduate student out of Arlington, Texas. And he gets them both to go. It's down to a one-point Middle Tennessee lead. Yeah, the Bulldogs are keeping this pressure on. I like it. It's, it's really kind of disrupted yeah. Middle these last few possessions. Elias King floating through the lane and gets it to fall. It has been a tough offensive night for King, but when they needed a bucket, he found a way. Crawford now turns the corner. Runs into Coleman Jones looking for help. Kicks it back out to Newman. He'll take his turn. Fading away. Tough look. No. Bacho over the back. No. They get the call against oh. Middle Tennessee. And if that's on, oh, they get it on Porter. I thought they were going to get it on Coleman Jones, yeah. and that would have been number five. I thought I thought Bacho was over the back. Yeah, I, I thought that. Take another look. I don't know if that was Buford. I thought he had position. Oh, you're right. Buford, it was Buford. Yeah, I mean, he's just holding. I mean, he's got inside position. Ooh. Yeah, you're right. So Buford whistled for the foul. It's number four on him. Bacho hits the first free throw. So now you've got four on Buford, four on Coleman Jones. Now, there's only a minute 10 left. We may not be done when that clock hits zero. That's true. So fouls could be an issue for Middle Tennessee. Both free throws are good. How about the big fella stepping up and knocking them down? He's great around the basket, but again, another big guy with a soft touch. Back to a one-point ball game. One minute to play. Yes, the corner, the crossover. It's in the paint. Threw it away. Stolen by Isaiah Crawford. On the run to Newman. Cut off, gets it back to Crawford. Now Newman, a little hesitation. Good patience. Chavez. Guarded by Porter. Waiting for the screen. Here it comes. Tries turning the corner. Blocked and oh, taken away by Middle Tennessee. Bodies hit oh. the floor. And now a foul called. All of that. After all that, I mean, Mangum just kind of gets overzealous and, and makes a careless foul. Yeah. Put his yeah. the palms of the crowd saying, Calm settle down. down. Let's just settle down, guys. 36 seconds. One more coming for King. A 69% free throw shooter on the season. We're coming up the other way. I mean, the ball's going to be in Chavez's hand. But look for him to get it to Crawford as well. And then you got Bacho in the lane looking to clean up. And Alvin Hester wants a timeout to talk about it. Third. Might be a penetration to pass to Bacho, or it could be penetration and, and kick out and maybe let Isaiah Crawford work a little bit. Newman cut off by Porter. Trying to back him in, now kicks out to Crawford. Yeah, they're going to let him go to work. Spins, oh, stolen good. away! Loose on the deck in the corner, out of bounds. It will stay with Louisiana yeah, Tech. Yeah, and they're gonna they're gonna replay this. Yeah, they're gonna go take a look at this, making it real difficult to inbounds. And you got real quickness here on this Bulldog team. They can overplay, shoot a gap, go for a steal. Buford looking inbound, running out of time. Five second call. He 
tried to signal for the timeout, didn't get it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Great defensive stop by the Bulldogs to get a five second call. A lot of that was Bacho on the ball. All six, ten of them active hands. 19.4 remaining. Bacho has it. They're running out of time. They may need to hoist the three. Yeah. Crawford trying to get some space. Now backing in. Using a lot of time. Powers it up. No. Deflected out of bounds. They don't know where the ball is. They find the ball. Crawford needs the three. Pump fake. Please. No. No. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. Middle Tennessee has done.